apologizing, but um, back to your question, I, I think part of it, you know, I mean, there's still a lot of stigma associated with it, and so um, for me personally, I mean, most of our stories are about HIV and for people with HIV, so it doesn't come into play as much as, I guess, maybe the mainstream media, but I have had, over the years, several people contact um, me directly and say, can you please take my story off the website after they told their whole personal story yeah, yeah. because they're going to apply for a job or, or you know, they don't want someone to find out in their life. And it's really, it's still, I mean, still very stigmatizing. Even when they, after they took this, you know, um, took an opportunity to come out, you know, because it can be very empowering for not only them, but for other people to read that kind of story. And Do you also get, uh, we get the, um, how dare you, you know, like we did, we had a, uh, we had this like 20 amazing HIV positive gay by men feature and then one for women and, and uh, so we after that got a, uh, got several letters that, you know, we get a lot of letters that are great, thank you for celebrating and showing how great normal we are, uh, but then we also get a number that are like, how dare you glorify this, this is just a killer disease, this is, this killed my brother or my whatever. Uh, this is, you know, I can't believe you're glorifying HIV and stuff like that. We're seeking to, we are seeking to sort of glorify the individuals with HIV because what we're trying to do is show that they are people just like anybody else and they're, you know, um, and just sort of, you know, normalize it a little bit but also have something that is empowering for people with HIV when they're reading our publications. So, just don't strive for the issues, but we do in a way, you know. It's tough too because you're... Even though we work in this bubble, this HIV bubble, yeah. um, but yeah. HIV is only a part of our lives, and I think that's true about the people that you try to your profile. It's mm -hmm. just one little part of it, and there's this whole other spectrum. Mm -hmm. And that's true of anyone's life, you know, if you have a chronic disease, you know, it's just... It's true about being gay, though. You know, yeah. I mean, as the yeah, LGBT true. media, and as the LGBT media, a lot of times we're celebrating people for being gay, right? They're like, you know, he's a CEO, and he's gay, you know, and it's just like, ooh. Because if he were straight, why would he be writing about him, you know? So, so it's like the same element with being positive. One last question, we got a minute. I'm, I'm kind of curious for everybody on the panel. What do, what's, do you talk to people about your profiling or of them talking about their HIV or AIDS status? What is HIV status? Well, HIV status. Um, what what it's the for people you're writing about? Like, what do you talk to them about, or what do they say is the advantage of them talking about their HIV status? I think publicly? they have the same kind of coming out a lot of times that people who are LGBT have. So there's a lot of the same kind of coming out issues. There's a lot of the same kind of finding communities, seeing other people like themselves, seeing positive images. Um,